Hello and welcome to another video of our FRED deep dive session. In this video, I will talk about our modernization and decoupling project, which allows users to work more flexible and customize FRED to their needs. We continued our efforts in decoupling the front end from the FRED core and provided users a new object-based Python API. Obviously, all FRED modules are written in C++. On top of that, we provide a fully accessible Python API, which is used to create our UI elements. In theory, that means you are able to recreate FRED modules by yourself or create your own based on functionality that exists already. All new features and modules that we introduced are based on the new API concept. Older existing modules we try to decouple step by step or rework them completely. So with FRED 2020.1, we provided an API for our FireIO service and ATF settings so users can better automize and customize their data translation process. Also, with the need for more customization in VR, we have introduced many new services and commands in the Python API as well. With the latest FRED 2021 release, we have decoupled our annotation module and light editor. I want to mention that with our decoupling, it is now also possible to edit properties on a multi-selection in the UI for most of the modules. For the light editor, we have also introduced some usability and UI improvements to be more consistent across modules. Talking about usability, all modules that allow scripting like the script editor, variant sets and preferences are now using the same widget with known features like autocomplete, syntax highlighting and find and replace. Due to the fact that Python 2.7 will not be maintained past 2020, FRED now supports Python 3 and we have added an automatic translation for Python 2 into Python 3 code. Last but not least, we have documented all available environment variables that can be found in the Python documentation as well. Okay, let's move over to FRED. Our Python documentation can be found in the main menu under Help, Python Documentation. This guides you to our old Python documentation. The new one can be found in the table of contents. Also, our environment variable documentation can be found in here. Our script editor widget that comes with nice features like autocomplete, search, find and replace can be now found in other modules as well. For example, in the script tab of the preferences and in our variant sets. A very efficient feature that comes with the decoupling is that, for example, for the light editor, it is now possible to edit properties on a multi-selection. So that's it for our modernization and decoupling. Hope to see you in one of the next videos.